I hope you've been enjoying what I put out from Quattro Colinas. We're not by any means done yet. But there is one thing that I want to show you that could potentially mean a lot for the future of Call of the Wild. Also, just to clarify, map will be out on 10th of December if everything goes well on all platform. Price will be $7.99. Now it's out there. Don't ask me. Don't ask me in the comments all the time. But one thing in this map that I am actually really, really excited about is another way to cross the rivers. It's been something that we have been warning for a long time, especially with Yukon. And some parts of Leighton would have had the... It would have been making so much sense as well. Right now, this is very, very stationary. But they've actually introduced boats into the game. And I'm actually really excited about this. Unfortunately, it's not like you can take them and use them for hunting. But you can interact with them. Could you imagine having an inflatable raft or something like that? So you just hit your E key. Boom. And you'll get transferred to the other side of the map or the other side of the river i mean this opens up for a lot of stuff have the devs just been lazy and didn't want to build a bridge i don't know but uh, i'm actually really really enjoying this feature and i actually see this being a useful feature in many ways because yeah maybe we can get the inflatable raft in the future where it's just put it down it spook everything in like 250 meters like when you're placing a tent what's that over there Something is moving. That's a piggy. It's a small piggy. Uh, shoot it from this side of the water and then go claim it. Let's just uh, put out the big old 6.5. We should actually be able to shoot it with that. Can you take a uh, stop, please? Around there would be perfect. And it does seem like it is going down indeed. And now we need to get to the other side to pick it up. But yeah, I think this could open up potentially for maybe inflatable rafts in the future, which would make a lot of sense. But yeah, having that could actually be cool. And if they made it the same weight as a tent, so you would actually have to give up some of your hunting equipment to, to have the opportunity to travel back and forth over waters. I see that being a thing. I mean... We had, on Parquet Fernando, we kind of had the uh, trophy lots that you unlock by missions was like the predecessor of the actual trophy lodge. Is this going to be what might lead us up to having a boat or some way of crossing the waters in the future in the game? I don't know. But I really, really like this feature. And I'm actually very happy that they did something like this because it's new and... I see it having a huge potential to probably change the gameplay in the future. At least for me, it is going to make me... If I had the opportunity, I would be taking a lot more long shots on uh, animals across the water. Just to simply put up a inflatable raft, go to the other side and claim it. Would it be too easy? I don't know. If you made it the right weight, then you could only carry three guns. So you have to give up something for it to be a thing so yeah let me know what you think about this idea let me know does this do anything for you or has the devs just kind of been lazy there is two other crossings there's one down here and one down there and i haven't used it at all because i like taking the boat yeah yeet thank you so very much for watching